para verte más sonriente Adiós. hoy que el otro día en Barcelona. Eh, ¿Qué le dirías a los socios y aficionados del Barça que hoy están viendo esta rueda de prensa? Muchos están tristes. Eh, nos han dicho muchos que no quieren eh, enfrentarse a ti en un posible partido en Champions. Eh, ¿Tú quisieras evitarlo también eso y qué mensaje les envías a esas personas de aficionados del Barça que están tristes hoy? No, bueno, yo antes de, de irme sin saber dónde iba a ir, se lo dije a, al aficionado que es del Barcelona, que siempre voy a estar agradecido por, por el cariño. Esa es mi casa, estuve de chiquito ahí, fueron muchísimos años, muchas cosas vividas, buenas y malas. Eh, ellos sabían que me iba a venir a un... O un equipo fuerte, un equipo competitivo, un equipo que iba a luchar por pelear la Champions, porque me conocen, porque saben, repito, como dije el otro día, que, que me gusta ganar, que soy un ganador y quiero, quiero seguir cumpliendo eh, objetivos. Repito otra vez, eh, no tengo duda y no tenía duda que el París tiene los mismos objetivos de, de ganar, ganar, de seguir siendo más, más grande y de seguir... Eh, seguir siendo más grande como, como club. Y, y nada, no sé si nos vamos a enfrentar por un lindo va a ser si no llega a pasar por un, por un lado va a ser lindo eh, volver a Barcelona ojalá sea con gente cuando se pueda y, y por otro lado va a ser muy, muy raro ¿no? eh, volver a jugar a, a mi casa con otra camiseta pero, pero bueno eh, esto es fútbol y puede pasar y, y veremos buenos días Buenos días, Leo. Buenos días, Presidente. Giorgia Cenni, Sky Sports. Thank you. As I said earlier, there was there was a great desire between both sides to to make this happen, and it was true. It was very quick when Leo decided to to leave Barcelona, or you know, to finish with Barcelona. I mean, you know, the discussion started, and it was the desire of both sides that we want to sign, and we are here. Uh, hello, Laura Scott from the BBC. Um, a question for the President and then to Leo. Um, for the President, uh, there's a lot of people wondering how you can afford to have um, such an amazing squad and stick within FFP. Can you tell us, please? And to, to Leo, uh, I wonder how influential that phone call was that you had with Pochettino and, and how much he convinced you to come here and what was said. Okay. Oh. Regarding the financial review, I'll just make it very clear. And thank you very much for your question. Actually, you know, I was waiting for it, and uh, it's a very great uh, question. For us, always, as we said, you know, we follow the financial fair player regulation from the day one that we started until the end. We're gonna always fulfill the regulation of the financial fair play. Before we do anything, basically, you know, we look out with our commercial people, with financial people, with legal people. So. As soon as if you see that we're signing Leo, that means we could we have the capacity to sign him. If not, we're not going to sign him. We're not going to promise something we couldn't, so we know that we could sign him. And I think uh, today, as you can see, I mean, what Leo Porto also bringing to the club, it's a huge. And that's, I think, what you as media need also to focus on. It's not just the, only the negative side, let's say. But I think there is a lot of positive he's bringing to the club, and you can see in everything in the term of commercial, term of social media. It's amazing, honestly. He's, I mean, you know, a big asset for the club. The club being increased in every single uh, part of the club in term of commercial. I mean, uh, unbelievable. Three days. I mean, you know, later we'll maybe give you some numbers. You're going to be shocked, honestly, in the, in, the, in the numbers that we have. I hope Leo will not ask for more salary, but, <laughs> you know, it's like, but I think, no, we have really, I mean, fantastic. We, uh, it's true that always we look at financial fair play and always will uh, we'll fulfill the, the financial fair play regulation. Thank you. Bueno, como dije antes, obviamente todo el vestuario, el cuerpo técnico,